since the last video where I did an update on my single magnifier build, I've gained around 6k DPS unbuffed on dummy for <laughs> since that last video. And I guess just in total, I've spent one and a half million marks on the build. The way I farm those marks is purely for mana storm and doing the dailies on the call board. I am going to get more into that later on in the video, but only a quick like overview of how I did it. Since the last video, the improvements of the build has been build up first and demolisher. Some other impactful ones has been true shot hour, rampage, bloodbath talent. Bloodbath talent are very nice if you have the blood search uh, talent so that you just refresh bloodbath uh, all over again. And bloodbath just having more bleeds on the target will increase the damage of blood first. Some talents I'm still looking for that I hopefully would take the build up to at least 30k DPS is one of them are Masters of Arms. Just I am almost at 700 str strength, so this should give me so much armor penetration. I really am so excited to hopefully get that soon. I'm also missing the battle charge and this is a huge single target. It's like it's going to be so much damage. It will increase my tools of war. It will just the damage from it again and just proccing my crushing charge and this just to gain 10% more damage and have full uptime on this. It's going to be uh, probably 2 to 3k DPS, but yeah, it's going to be very much. Another combo I'm really looking for is the war cry together with the battle fatigue. Even though it's only 60% uh, uptime, it should be again 2000 DPS increase and just going to scale everything up so much. And the last, <laughs> probably one of the best talents you can get for a non-spellcaster build is the Mach Machio Crescendo. Just gaining around 30 to 40 attack speed from one talent is going to be one of the best multipliers and just gaining so many wind fuel procs and fast attacks, hacking slash procs and yeah, that is going to be, I would assume it could be close to 5k DPS, but that is maybe some hopium, I don't know. Let's also quickly go over <laughs> this weird looking thing. This is how I track my build. It's basically like a fun bingo board I use to motivate me to track my build. This you can only do if you have someone else's build to follow. I will link the Google Sheet for this in the description if you want to follow. the How I use this is that blue marked abilities is abilities I've carded. The green ones is abilities I've hit and have the max talent for now. And the yellow ones, I've hit some of the talent points for it. Here you can just adjust to show myself how many marks I have, but you very quickly get to 3000, so it's just to show. And this is how many scores of fortune I've spent on the build. 160 is equivalent to around 400,000 marks, so keep that in mind when you see this. And this is not to take into consideration like the amount of scrolls of fortune you gain from world bosses, raids, mythic plus, mana storm farming, so this is only from the scrolls of fortune from the marks not from everything else if you think how many scrolls have this taken this is not the accurate amount because some scrolls have been gained from other sources when i had this build you see in the screen now i did around 16k dps the next build you're going to see in the screen here is how i track that here is the day i gained true shot hour and rampage i didn't have like a dps test these days because gaining these two abilities is not that big of like a dps gain this day again, very good day, and you can see the different uh, like the amount of scrolls of fortune like <laughs> it takes to hit some of these. Hit the demolisher, hit the build, hit the build up first. Demolisher, I'm actually not that pleased with. I don't think it seems that strong. It seems kind of fluent in how the stacks works on the target, but it is uh, at least a two or four percent more multiply on the target, so it's a DPS increase nonetheless. Also. A quick mention is silence in the library are so nice for mana storm farming just to burst down the bus it does so much damage for some reason i don't know why also again the blade, blade storm blade storm is so nice for the white main and some other mana storm layouts where you just want to kill the mobs quickly also the arcanist dean i think he's called and this is basically current day how my build is right now i gained the bloodbath and i gained the crushing impact the crushing impact is mostly important mana storm because it's 10 percent more variability damage so it's good on pull, it's good on the burst, but when, as long as I don't have the battle charge and I cannot keep procking crushing impact, it's useless. So, And you can see here, this is the current day and where I'm just tracking the amount of uh, scrolls where I'm at, how many marks I put into the build. And yeah, I'm not sure I showed it in the last video, but quickly going over my gear, 
I didn't gain that much of new items for the build, so it's a combination of ascended, old molten core pieces. I really want to upgrade and change my might pieces to wrath, but I first want to do that when I have either mythic or ascended version of it. So right now they're they're doing fine. And here you can see my stats. I'm above 2000 attack power and above 60 crit. The crit I feel are kinda important. It's of course it's more damage with the impale, polar specialization and the prey on the weak. But besides that, the crit actually helps you with your opener. So the more you can crit with slam, maybe I'm gonna try start getting a raging blow into my opener to get my Gurubashi stacks up faster. I think that is the way to go. So having more crit for Gurubashi Berserker uh, would be very wanted. And I also hope when I at some day get Warcry and I get the crit chance from that, I hope my opener with the Gurubashi Berserker is gonna be more uh, fluent and faster. And so as you can see in the clip here in the background, high have I been farming the scrolls and the markers of ascension for this build because just by doing the call bot you're not able to get 1 million marks since the, my last video. I have been, as you can see here in the clips, I've been purely and simply just farming mana storms. It is not the most fun content <laughs> there is, but it gets the jobs done. I'm getting around 10 to 15 scrolls give or take per run. It is, I mean, it, it it's so close to what you get from a whole like normal raid and stuff like that. So yeah, to, to make some comparison, I'm finishing my run, the, some of the best runs around 15 minutes, average runs like decent layouts around 17 minutes and some of the worst runs where I get the, <laughs> some of the, I don't have anything nice, the longer the layout uh, around 20 minutes and if I'm just like slow. So what can you else expect from getting from these layouts? If you do the 1 to 50, you can expect to get around 100 gold each time. That is purely from just opening the mana storm boxes and selling the items. That is not calculated into the equation of the treasure goblins, the, the loot demon loots, the loot demons. And from 1 to 51, you're gaining 5,000 marks of ascension. That is basically one and a half scroll of fortune from Silas. So that is a very nice ways to acquire marks. And yeah, that is basically how I've been trying to improve my character and been farming. I have been doing this a lot and it's kind of tiresome to farm mana storm for three to four hours sometimes more then spend like 50 to 100 marks and not gain anything at all so yeah it's kind of rough and i've been very fortunate that this is a build with a very good burst i feel and i've been lucky to hit heroic leap disengage as you can see paratrooper recently and just having very good mobility for mana storm so i've been able to actually farm it pretty quickly but that leaves me up to this is currently now the best way i can progress my build and this is where if i want to get this build raid ready and want to either have it for raid trials or compete in the current raid i'm doing with my guild to not basically be feeding or being very low dps this is currently the way I have to improve the build and it is quite tiresome. I don't mind it that much. I think it's fun to haunting and getting the talent for the build. But I like if I have to do this each time I have to come up with a YouTube video. This is also where I transition into the Hatrix part of this and where this leaves me because I can of course make a YouTube guide and showing a build like the bare minimum of either the pyroblast build or the elemental lord build and show hey here is the template of what can this build do what is the potential of this build you see in some of my other videos maybe where i show 4000 5000 dps and say i think this has potential but i don't know i don't have the time i don't have the marks to spend on this build and especially when i have a build i really want to do a uh, good and <laughs> thought out a guide for that have potential and a lot of people want to play it is so much work and especially if i was like gonna do a caster if i was gonna copy my own conflict build to have a build being able to do 30 maybe even 40k dps i would sit and grind so so much <laughs> and i guess these kind of things really just shows up now where i'm hunting for a build that uses so many one out of one talents that you're just not able to upgrade that easily 
Some builds has a lot of them that uses and needs one out of one talents. Some builds doesn't have a lot. And this is one of them where the more and closer I get to wanting to try to finish my build, the more and more marks of ascension and the more scrolls of fortune I have to invest in the build to try have a chance to be close to finishing it. If this is something you want to do, the best way I would recommend you doing this is farm mana storm and if your build is not good for it because you're not having a fast mana storm build i would say try to make a good mana storm farming build there are some out there right now but the simple quick <laughs> tips for it is use good mobilities all of the quick mobilities that just get you through the mana storm fast and then build your build around having a quick burst and this also leaves me to that <laughs> i'm not burned out yet at least but really trying to finishing up a build and this is my first time really trying to to really go for it is i guess it has kind of opened my eyes a bit on this season and how this season is maybe it's the issue of having an infinite amount of farm that you will never be done that you can never be done like compared to last seasons where it was kind of easy to hit the the, the um, what is it called how many marks you can spend on a build before hitting the cap and also just the sheer amount of what content can you do to even grind the rerolls and the marks for it. Because I don't think in the past season we even had the possibility to get like an infinite amount of scrolls, like accessibilities from content, doing quests, doing stuff like that. So yeah, you will probably in the next couple of <laughs> days see, not see that many videos from me. I will try to have my relationship with youtube and ascension in a healthy relationship so i can be ready for chapter two and that is also another point that chapter two for me right now we have no idea i have no idea when this is out and i don't want to spend that much of my time creating content and creating guides for something that could possibly totally change the game change build change how everything works in some way or another we don't know i don't know and that i don't want to risk my time also risk your times for having guides out there that will just miss uh, do misinformation when chapter two is out i cannot tell probably some spike of motivation i hope but before that well i will just chill you can see me around in the city i will be around i will also i have a big passion for path of exile i will play that <laughs> so yeah just uh, trying not to burn out and be ready for chapter two and i would suggest if you are burned out and just maybe waiting for chapter two i would suggest just keep your relationship with ascension in a healthy manner so that you're not burning out in the long run that would be a shame because i think this season has a lot of good potential but yeah for now for me it's a uh, farming mana storm that is how i'm going to improve this build and hopefully Getting, gaining the last impactful talents that can really help me getting the min max version where i feel that i'm in a comfortable position to make an in-depth build guide at some point with the build so yeah with the last nice words there i'm gonna fade into the shadows for some time i'm just gonna i'm gonna be lurking around of course and if you want to find me maybe i'm gonna stream some poe maybe i'm gonna stream some mana for, uh, storm farming I'm gonna link my Twitch in the description of this video. So if you want to see when I'm online, give me a follow. And I hope this could help you with your journey for the Single Minded Fury build. And if not, I thanks for your time if you're sticking uh, around here for the end. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.